The historical peak of hurricane season is in early September, and the American Red Cross wants to bring on new volunteers before then. Disasters happen every day. Lisa Scott is a volunteer with the American Red Cross. I respond to fire calls and I do casework every day. And now the organization wants to onboard more service driven volunteers like her. We're there for them. We are we are listening to them. We are hearing them and they're telling their story and we're doing everything we can to support them emotionally, um, finding resources for them and to help them with some temporary financial need if that be deemed necessary. Organizers say the coronavirus pandemic has hurt normal recruiting operations and before the peak of a predicted busy hurricane season, the Red Cross still needs dozens more volunteers. Same people who have that heart for volunteering and for helping others, we need them to act now um, and not be reactive because once that disaster hits, it's really hard then to integrate you into the system and to take advantage of turning your um, values and virtues into action. At that point, it's almost too late. If you are 18 or older and are interested in helping with disaster recovery, casework, or staffing temporary evacuation shelters, the organization wants you. Right now, the Red Cross particularly needs people with health care or mental health care backgrounds, but all who apply are welcome. Organizers say training is streamlined and sign up can be done online. Volunteers like Scott will tell you it's for a good cause. To see a smile on their face, to know that I've moved somebody from being in a shelter to now they have housing, they've got clothing, they've got, they're on their start, they're back on their feet again. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer for the American Red Cross, I'll tell you how over on our website, WSPA.com. In Greenville, I'm Henry Coburn, 7 News.